In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to make a header row for a table that you've created. In this case, I've created my table with the cats, dogs, and parakeets columns with data in them, but I forgot to put a header or description of my table. So what I'm going to do is insert my text tool into any of the table cells and go to Table, Table Options, and Table Setup once more and choose Headers and Footers. Here I can choose header rows and footer rows that will go at the top and bottom of the table in order to give descriptions and other information. Here I'm going to add one header row and you can see in the preview that it has created that row for me and I'm going to choose every text column and I'm going to choose one footer row which will go at the bottom and I'm going to click OK and I now have header and footer rows that will enable me to illustrate the data and perhaps a source so on the header row, I'm going to choose Table and Merge Cells and title it Animals as Pets in Percentages. I'm going to click in one of the cells in the footer, select them, and go to Table and Merge Cells to make it one cell. And I can put data from unknown source and I can make that font small to hide the fact that I have unknown data. So that's creating a header and a footer on a table that already exists and you can create as many header rows or footer rows as you need. It's a great resource when you have a table that someone's created and you need to add those extra spaces. Try it.